this is part four of the series. Uh, so right now, you know, I am level four, as I mentioned, I would. I uh, could try at level three. It's, it was very difficult to uh, defeat this upcoming boss, uh, but level four actually makes a little bit difference, believe it or not. So if you don't know what's going on, um, the uh, rodents, say I'll talk to, they're looking for the legendary item necessary to dig, and they actually, these uh, beings got it, so I need to fight a boss to get it. So here we go. So in the box, that's what I need. I think we should take a peek. So this was the first box. It actually needs a, bit, a little bit strategy. You just need to stay alive. Yep, so we got a smelly digger glove. Uh, we can't equip it, but it's pretty much an item that we need to deliver to the king. Now, even though the queen is dead, we may still defeat need to feed the enemy too. Yep.
Yep, the hair clips are your armor. And slippy oil and two clogs that's also armor. Uh, the slippy oil, uh, if you're using this item in battle, increase the odds that the enemy will drop an item. I'm gonna buy equip it, so might as well equip it. So the star um, that's shown there, that just creates, I believe it increases your magic hit points. The bulb increases your magic attack power, the bicep increases your strength power, the uh, hat or the orange hat increases your defense, and the shoe increases your speed in battle. They all come and play. And I believe the bunny, bunny, raspy rabbit has pretty good speed. Overall,
Alright, so that's one little dungeon that got out of the way. If you notice there, uh, use the war point. It, you probably want to use the war point every chance you get. To access it, you do is open up your inventory, like that bag there. Uh, click on the status screen, and there's what's called a map. And it actually shows a hat. And the hat just means that that's where you can go to warp. But it has to be on the same planet, otherwise it's not going to work. And you don't use any items, you can do it anytime. If it comes accessible. So it looks like I'm going the wrong way here. And lucky for me, oh, there we go. The, what are those called? Beans? Yeah, bean pops. Uh, they'll, they'll come and play later. I have to give it to a certain character. Well, not the character of my party, but a certain uh, individual. Another one. So once I get I done this little section here, I'm actually going to stop the video. That's where right now I'm just exploring with the belief this is the cave where I need to go to. And again, I there is no enemies in this cave, thank you. But we'll talk to this person here. Because why not? A brownie. No, it's not the stuff that you eat, and it's not the stuff that you eat that has stuff in it, you know, like D R U C D R U G S, is that how you spell drugs? I don't care. But anyway, yeah. Basically, it just tells you what I explained in the, in the first uh, part of the game here that if you hit a certain point um, when enemies attack you, you can actually neglect, neglect some damage towards you. You can only do it on a character. You can't do it on, on, on all characters, unfortunately. And some attacks actually go quite fast, so for you to get it all the time is not happening. So. Yep, so think of a windmill and uh, a little lassie can do like a wind spell. That's your affinity, so let's probably do that. And we'll get this carnival started. Yeah, there's no wind here. So pretty much it tells you right off the bat what needs to be done. Sadly, it doesn't do it all the time in the game here. And there's the extra animation. You know you done correctly. And lower and behold. There's the windmill. And there's the carnival top of it. Alright guys, so I'm going to actually end this, this part right now. I uh, will see you in part 5 of the magical... Stargate. If I say Stargate, star sign. I'll see you next uh, time, guys. Take care. Yeah, that's actually pretty.